Welcome to a new video on electronic music production and songwriting. This time it's all about finding chords and chord progressions by ear. We will use Sundog Scale Studio for that. Sundog is a specialized composition software and it contains a lot of tools to find great chords on any scale. Sundog is connected to the DAW via MIDI. When I click here, Ableton Live will receive MIDI notes and play them back. It's really simple. Alright, let's start. In the main interface we click on Chords. What we can see here is the Chords page. It contains the most important chords of the current scale, in this case all chords of C major. I can simply click around here and listen through the different chords. Now I want to choose a different scale up here. There are many scales included. And I pick C minor. Sundog will recalculate the page and display only chords of C minor now. The chords in the upper part consist of triads. And you can see the notes down here. And in the lower part you can find 4 note chords. It's also important to know that all these columns share chords with the same root note, in this case C. And here we have everything with F. So from left to right the root notes simply go up the scale. Alright, now we can create a simple chord progression, just by testing some chords. On this timeline I can click on time slots and fill them. Let's listen to that. Using the lock symbol we can protect the timeline, so if I click here I won't change the chord progression anymore. Ok, so what can we do with that? The most simple thing is taking this MIDI symbol and dragging it to the door. As you can see here Ableton imported the MIDI data quite nicely. And now I can do everything that I want to do as usual. For example I can trigger an arpeggio inside Silent 1. So what else can I do with my chord progression? Here comes one of the core strengths of Sundog. I click on Use Chords. And now I can tell different tracks to follow the chord notes automatically. I click on Edit, Follow the chord notes. And now this sequence keeps going with the chords. I can also do that with an arpeggio. As you can see, it's very easy to build a bass track with that, and it's also quite fast. But let's get back to the chords page. So far I only showed you the most basic features, but you can do a lot more. So let's take a look at the advanced stuff, and no worries, they are easy to use as well. You can not only click on the buttons, but you can also use your computer keyboard or your MIDI keyboard.
When I press 0, I can play 4 note chords as well. And beside the standard chords, I can also trigger other chords when I hold down Control. Or also the Alt key. I can also play chords with my MIDI keyboard. And press A sharp to play 4 note chords. Use F sharp and G sharp to do the same stuff like you did with Ctrl and Alt. When I click on a chord, I can use my keyboard to try different inversions. Just press up and down. Another nice feature. When I click on show chord tension here, I can see which chords are harmonic and which are more dissonant. The harmonic chords have simple plain backgrounds and the chords with more tension have strong stripes. So this one is very harmonic and this one has more tension. This is very nice if you want to find harmonic chords very quickly. Another nice option, you can turn on Show Chromatic Keyboard in Chords View. And now all chords will be shown on a normal keyboard. This way you can learn the chords if you want to. I will turn this off again. OK. You can change the notes on the keyboard here as well. For example, I can add another note here or strengthen the root note. When I click on keep, I can store the chord on a special page, but more about that in a minute. I create another chord. Press keep again. And when I click on the symbol now, I get to another page where I can find the chords that I just played. And once again, I can also play the chords by using my keyboard. And I can also add other chords. For example, this. These collections are very handy. You can also save them. Click on chords, save on chords. I simply call it test. And you can also load them, of course. For example, I stored some popular EDM chords here. It's also possible to use them in the timeline, of course. All right. I go back to the normal page now. 
so-called voicings or chord variations are extremely popular when you work with chords. For example, you might want to turn the standard C minor chord into an open chord. You can do this manually, but there's also a faster way. First, I make a check at chord mods active in the settings. And now every button consists of three different areas. Left, right, middle. In the standard configuration, this will be the first inversion down. And this, the second one. But we can also change that. I click on Settings, Edit Left Chord Mod. Here we can configure how the chord will be transformed. We have a column for the first note, the second, third and fourth note. And here we can decide whether the note should be moved up or down. For example, I always want to move the second note of the chord one octave up. And I want to use it both for triads and four note chords. These are all the changes that I have to do. And I press OK. This is the standard. And this is the changed version. And it works for all chords, of course. Now we want to change the right field. I want to move the second note up again. And here I can add additional chord notes. For example, I want to emphasize the root note by adding it one octave lower as well. As you can see, we got another note at the low end. It really sounds stronger now. And another variation. I edit the middle part. Here I can add additional notes to the chord. These notes weren't present in the chord before, but I can add them now. Add 1 would be the root note of the chord, and each additional add will go up the scale a certain amount of steps. I will demonstrate that with add 9. Ok, when I click here now, This part would be the normal chord, and this is the ninth note. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright. And this is how we can really enhance the way how we work with chords here. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can get Sundog at filiasound.com slash Sundog and I'm sure that you will have a lot of fun with the chords page. See you soon. Bye bye.